Hey, we got some breaking news coming into the HQ. Cleveland Cavaliers All-Star guard Darius Garland agreeing to a five-year, $193 million maximum designated rookie contract extension with the Cavs that could be worth as much as $231 million when it's all said and done. This is believed to be the largest contract in team history. Our Bill Ryder joins us now on the phone to break down the latest development here out of Cleveland. Bill, how big of a deal is it for the Cavs to lock down Darius Garland like this? Look, I, I think it's I think it's incre it's incredibly significant, and that I think would be true any NBA organization, any city in the NBA. But it, you know, I think it's worth pointing out this is Cleveland. It's not an easy place to recruit talent to. Outside of LeBron James, we've never seen stars who choose to play there. And so they've got a young core and the ability to lock them in, the GM, Kobe Altman, to be able to keep this group together. And what I think will be a pretty competitive team, it's a really good day for the Cavs. It's obviously a really good day for, for Darius Garland. That's a whole bunch of money. I think it's good news all around for everybody involved. Was there any real threat of losing Garland for the Cavaliers? I mean, 75, 80% of the time, the answer is no. Like in, in the way the CBA works, and certainly the way that it has worked the last couple of years, guys tend to take the money and take the security. But we've seen in the past organizations mess this up, whether they don't extend the offer and, and frustrate guys, whether they don't value guys the right way when they have the opportunity to do that. DeAndre Ayton is obviously still out there in a situation where that could have happened in the past. So this was expected. And, again, not taking shots at Cleveland, Ohio, but when you're in Cleveland – you don't, you don't know. You're not convinced you're going to be able to keep a, ta a talent like Garland. And he really emerges past season in his third year as more than a promising player. He's a real star in a competitive team. And the ability to just make sure he's going to stick around, even if it was expected, it's really important, especially in a market like Cleveland. All right, so this is a feel-good signing for sure by the Cleveland Cavaliers. Where does it put Cleveland in your pecking order in the Eastern Conference now that Garland is locked up? Well, so the Eastern Conference is, is vicious. It really is. It is a it is clustered with talented basketball teams. And even though the Nets are disintegrating before our eyes, everybody else that was competitive last year is, is, is the same or they're improving. But people in Cleveland will tell you, and some people around the NBA will agree, that that was a Cavs team for a big chunk of the season were a top-four team in the Eastern Conference. They hit a wall towards the end of the year. They lost Ricky Rubio to injury. I know he's not a superstar, but he's a leader, and they thought he was important. He's coming back. So if you've got Garland and you've got Mobley and you've got the rest of that team, but the young core of Darius Garland and Evan Mobley locked in, I think it's one of those teams, and I don't want to overstate it. There are a handful that fit this description, but the Cleveland Cavaliers are good enough to compete for that 60 when you try to avoid that play-in situation this upcoming season for certain. And I can tell you, talking to people in Cleveland, they really believe, they honestly think, and I'm not sure they're wrong, that in a year or two or three, if this young core continues to evolve, they can be good enough to really compete in the Eastern Conference. Another step in the process for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Those who know, know Bill Ryder going above and beyond to join us to talk about the Cleveland Cavaliers and Darius Garland signing on to a new max deal. Bill, thanks so much. Yeah, you got it. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.